Hi there, I'm Mike Chappell, and in this Cert Mike Explains video, we're going to talk about adversarial artificial intelligence, the deliberate misuse of AI algorithms in a way that attacks the AI system itself. Now, before we can get into adversarial AI, we should first talk a little bit about AI in general. Artificial intelligence is a groundbreaking field in technology that equips machines with the ability to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. These tasks include recognizing patterns, making decisions, understanding language, and learning from experience. AI systems, through algorithms and computational processing, analyze vast amounts of data to analyze trends, make predictions, and solve complex problems. Recently, the rapid advancement of AI has revolutionized industries by enhancing efficiency, automating repetitive tasks, and providing new insights into data-driven decision-making. As AI continues to evolve, it becomes increasingly integral in our daily lives, and it's going to become the backbone of future technological innovation. Now, as with any new technology, AI can be misused when it's in the wrong hands. That's where adversarial AI enters the picture. Adversarial AI uses attack techniques to manipulate or deceive AI algorithms by feeding them intentionally crafted input data designed to cause the algorithm to make mistakes or misinterpretations. Adversaries can exploit AI models by understanding their underlying mechanisms and identifying vulnerabilities that could be leveraged to induce desired outcomes. Their goal is often to bypass security measures or extract sensitive information from the AI. We have to remember that while AI can fortify cybersecurity defenses, it also presents new attack vectors that adversaries can exploit. So let's dive in and talk about four specific types of adversarial AI attack. In an evasion attack, adversaries modify malware or other attack vectors slightly so that they can go undetected by AI-driven security systems. For instance, by slightly altering the signature of a malware file, attackers can evade detection systems that are trained to recognize specific signatures. In poisoning attacks, Attackers feed malicious data into the AI model during its training phase. They're trying to skew the learning process. An example of this might be gradually introducing malicious inputs to corrupt a network intrusion detection system, causing that system to misclassify or ignore actual threats. Model stealing attacks attempt to clone an AI model by probing and observing its responses to specific inputs. This technique allows attackers to understand how the model makes decisions identifying weaknesses, or creating handcrafted inputs that will be misclassified. Model inversion attacks are designed to trick an AI into revealing sensitive information about the data set that it was trained on. Adversaries can use these attacks to infer private information, potentially leading to data privacy breaches. Now, I'll tell you how we can protect our organizations against adversarial AI attacks, but before we get into those defensive techniques, I want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmike.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next cybersecurity certification. The plans tie together the content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass that test on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this Cert Mike Explains video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new videos as they come out. Cybersecurity professionals can employ several strategies to safeguard AI systems against adversarial attacks. Robustness testing regularly tests AI models against adversarial inputs. This can help identify vulnerabilities. Tools and frameworks designed for adversarial testing can simulate attacks, helping teams to strengthen their systems. Input sanitization is also an important defensive mechanism. Implementing strict validation rules for incoming data can reduce the risk of poisoning attacks. Ensuring that the data used for training and inference is clean and verified minimizes the chance of manipulation. Model hardening techniques, such as adversarial training, where models are trained on a mix of clean and adversarially crafted input, can enhance the model's resilience. Regular updates and retraining with new and diverse datasets also strengthens the model against novel attacks. Employing methods like differential privacy in the training phase can protect sensitive data, making it harder for attackers to exploit AI models for data extraction. Differential privacy adds a small amount of random noise to the data used for training AI models, ensuring that the output can't be used to identify any individual's data. 
This approach maintains the privacy of the data set while still allowing for accurate analysis and predictions. Anomaly detection is another defensive measure. Monitoring the behavior of AI systems for unusual activity can help in the early detection of adversarial attacks. Anomalies in model performance or prediction patterns might indicate that an attack is underway. Finally, society can play a role. Establishing clear legal and ethical guidelines for AI development and deployment can serve as a deterrent against the malicious use of AI technologies. As the role of AI in cybersecurity grows, understanding and mitigating the risks associated with adversarial AI is imperative. By staying informed about potential attack vectors, adopting proactive defense measures, and fostering a culture of continuous learning and adaptation, cybersecurity professionals can navigate the challenges posed by adversarial AI. The goal is not only to protect against current threats, but also to anticipate and prepare for future advancements in adversary tactics. I hope this video helped you better understand adversarial artificial intelligence. If it did, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more IT certification content.